Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to check uh, if file exists uh, in Blob Storage in Azure Data Factory. So this is a very good scenario where, uh, let's say, you are for, uh, loading that file or moving that file uh, from the Azure Blob to another Azure Blob, or maybe loading that file to the from the Azure Blob to the SQL table, and uh, you want to check. Uh, if uh, you do not check that and file does not exist, uh, your copy activity is going to fail. So that's a great scenario to use uh, uh, some something like that before you even and start the process so you want to see if the file does exist um, so let's go ahead and take a look here we have uh, our Azure portal open now I'm going to go to the storage here and uh, there are containers so now we have logs container and input container in the input container I have a file called the customer what I'm going to do I'm going to read this file and then move this uh, data to another container so it's going to be just copy activity let's go to the blob storage again and create a new container in this case uh, i'm going to create output container now let's go to the azure data factory and uh, create our pipeline so right here in the author go to the new pipeline and we will be using copy activity so click on copy data activity right there go to source hit new and we are going to use azure blob storage because our file is in the blob storage, right? So I'm going to click uh, the limited text, hit continue, and now select the uh, link service. So let's create a new link service. And here I will be providing my subscription and my account name. Now we don't have to do anything here, just uh, create that uh, link service. Now we will be providing the input path for that folder, so or container. So in my case, I'm going to navigate to it, uh, input container and the file name. So that's the file we will be copying from our input container to the output. Yes, it does have a first row is the header row. So import schema doesn't really matter. You know, I'm going to just leave that as it, as it is. Let's go to the sync here now. And what we are going to do, we are going to go create a, the sync data set. Click new Azure Blob Storage. And we will be using the same uh, delimited text type. And the link service, same link service, because on the same uh, Azure Blob Storage, that's where our container is. In this case, our container name is Output. So I'm going to hit OK. And uh, yes, first row, I would like to have as a, as a header. And the import schema, just leave that as it is. Hit OK. Now come back here in the open and provide the file name. In my case, I'm going to say customer underscore output dot txt okay so let's uh, go ahead and uh, execute this pipeline and see what happened our pipeline has been completed successfully and let's go back to the azure blob storage and take a look uh, here we are going to go to the containers and then uh, we will be going to the output container in the output container i'm seeing a file called customer underscore output dot txt and you can see that uh, the data has been written uh, from the input uh, uh, file to the output file. That's great. Well, let's uh, see if uh, there is a scenario in which uh, the input folder, the file has been deleted or file has not provided uh, on uh, some specific time. So consider this scenario, maybe our pipeline runs every day at 11 o'clock and then uh, load this customer file. But uh, now as uh, the file was not provided and our pipeline is going to go ahead and execute uh, and see what happened if the file does not exist. So in this case, you notice that if the file does not exist, it uh, the pipeline fails. So let's go ahead and take a look here. And you can see that it is saying that the required blob is missing. So what we need to do in this case, we would like to handle that situation. If the file does not exist, we want to make sure our pipeline does not uh, fail okay so how we can check the if if the file does exist in the blob storage or not so what we are going to do we are going to use uh, get metadata activity so bring the get that metadata activity here now what we are going to do we are going to click uh, on that check if file exists if file exists okay now go to the data set here and uh, now we are going to create a new data set i'm going to go to the azure blob storage here and then I'm going to say, okay, the limited text file is fine. And uh, what we are going to do, use the same linked service. So, because in that container input, we are going to check that file. Okay, so I'm going to say container name input. And my file name is a customer. Okay, dot txt. That's my file name. It doesn't matter really header. Row, head, first row has header and all that. Do you want to check that or not? So you can leave this all as it is. Hit okay. And now what's going to happen, uh, let me see, actually the schema part, leave the schema part. 
Now, this uh, uh, get metadata activity is going to run and it's going to return us if the file does exist or not. But how we handle that part and run the copy activity. Here we will be using if statement. So in the if condition, I'm going to use it here and connect your get metadata to the if condition. And there are some expressions that we can write here. Go to the activities here. Once you click if a condition, it's going to appear activities here and you can write expressions. So go add dynamic contents and here you are going to use the metadata part. So check if the file exists. In the output, you are going to type .exists exists. So this is the value that's going to be used. So this exists can be true or false depending on the file availability. If the file does exist, this is this part is going to be equal to true. If this the file does not exist, what's going to happen? This part is going to be false. Okay, so that value is going to be returned false. So I'm going to show you once we experiment. And now what we are going to do, we are going to use the both branches here. Now I'm going to cut my uh, copy and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the true branch, click right there in the configuration and paste it there. So if the file does exist, uh, run my copy activity. And if uh, my file does not exist, uh, go to the false. Uh, now in the false part, what I can do, I can uh, use uh, logic apps and use the web activity and uh, send an email like file does not exist, right? So you can watch my other videos of how to send an email from the Azure Blob Storage. So you will be using uh, um, your... Uh, uh, logic apps and uh, then uh, we'll be using the web activity to send an email if the file does not exist. Okay, so maybe uh, you can look in the playlist. So here what I'm going to do in the false part, I'm going to use a wait activity just for, you know, uh, show you guys how to use it. Uh, let's uh, call this one and I'm saying a file does not exist. Okay, so now uh, let's check that. Now we are going to run our activity here and the debug and uh, Metadata cannot be empty, okay? So let's check that what happened here. Uh, sorry, in the metadata, go to data sets, and here we have to actually check the field list. So click on the new, and here you will be saying exists. That's what you need to do here, okay? So that's what a, a argument we have to provide for the get metadata. So that's what we have, we have used in the if statement right there. If you remember that, this is a part, okay? So hit okay now, and uh, we debug. In this case, uh, what's going to happen, uh, our get metadata is going to check if the file exists. And as file does not exist, exist it's going to go to the false part. So the wait activity will run in the false. Uh, let's check right there. See, it's, it checks the file exists. So right here, you can see that. OK, uh, check if file exists. Let's see right there. And see right there, it is equal to the false. Exist is equal to the false, right? So now get metadata is passing this value, exist equal to false to the if condition. And if condition then checks that and say, oh, okay, so if the value is false, I need to run the false branch, right? So you remember that we have written the expressions. Exist is equal to, so this is going to be true or false. So, so if it is false, it's the false part will be run. If it will be true, the true part will be run, right? Okay, so now we go back to journal, uh, click it right there, and uh, see, right there, file does not exist. So this uh, way, pipeline did not fail, and uh, what happened, uh, it got completed successfully. But now what we will do, we will experiment by putting a file there. So I'm going to load a file there in the input folder, go back to the uh, your containers, go to the input, and here, what you're going to do, you're going to upload the file. So right there, and uh, customer.txt, upload. Now our file does exist, uh, and uh, what's going to happen uh, if we run our uh, pipeline, it's going to run the true part, uh, and it's uh, going to copy our file from the input to the output folder. So let's uh, check that. It's working. Okay, so check if the file exists. So this is our metadata activity. It ex executed and it returned like exist is equal to true. So the file does exist. So that's fine. Once this exist equal to true is passed to the if condition, it is going to run the true part. So as you see that right there, copy activity has been executed and you can see one row has been written from the source to the 
destination. If I go back here, I can take a look on the output folder and we can see the file. So this could be from the previous uh, test. Uh, I just want to read and, and show you one more time. It's working just fine. Uh, this completed successfully. Let's go back and take a look on our output. So see, the file has been copied successfully. So this is a way where you will be checking uh, if the file does exist or does not exist in uh, Azure Data Factory. But uh, actually, you will be checking the file if the file does exist or not exist in the blob storage by using Azure Data Factory. And then you will be taking further steps uh, such as loading the file or not loading the file or sending an email. So different scenarios can be created from there. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.